And what was your favorite Brazilian food? Caipirinhas. <laughs> ah, I love caipirinhas. Ever try coxinha de frango? What is it's that? like a chicken ball, coxinha de frango. Oh, it's like a chicken ball. It's amazing. I like the powder, how do you say, powder, the cheese rolls. Powder cheese. Yeah, pão de queijo. Yeah. <laughs> pão de queijo. Colonel Roosevelt, may I present Colonel Cândido Mariano da Silva Rondon. He's an explorer and an Indian expert. Why not a bit of exploring? A notable adventure in Brazil. But this river, how dangerous is it? How are you? Good, how are you? I'm great. I'm a huge fan. Uh, Desperate Housewife is one of my favorite TV shows ever. And Catherine is one of my favorite characters. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now you're playing Edith Roosevelt. Uh, how challenging for you was to play the character? Well, I love doing research, so I enjoyed that part of it. I read this wonderful book. It's about, it's called Edith Kermit Roosevelt, about her alone. And it's really, really great. And I fell in love with her as a, as a human. I think she was a very interesting person. And um, she was very much uh, the woman behind the man. It was a real love story. Uh, they truly loved each other uh, until the day that he died. Uh, and they'd known each other since they were children. And I just, I just love a good love story. And it's so rare that I get to play them. Usually I'm playing somebody who's miserable and, you know, <laughs> crazy or something. And this is a woman who was well-educated and loved her husband and loved being a mother and very astute politically, but she never showed that off. Like she was kind of giving him advice behind the scenes, you know, but she, he, he turned to her for a lot. Edith was the first first lady to have a full-time job. I think her story is so inspiring. Uh, uh, she worked as social secretary. Uh, do you think her straight inspired woman through the century? I think that a lot of people don't know who Edith is. I didn't know. She's kind of been uh, eclipsed by Eleanor Roosevelt. Everybody knows Eleanor Roosevelt, who was, you know, Franklin's wife. Uh, but yes, you are correct. She is the per first woman who saw the job of first lady as a job, that it was not just, you know, the wife, that was a real job. And she redesigned the White House, um, what we now know as the West Wing, where all the political stuff happens. She designed that part of the White House because there was so many kids, there was no room for them all. There were six kids. So they took the East Wing for the residents and then the West Wing became for the politics. She's the one who put in the first tennis court before Melania Trump did. She's the one who put in the tennis court. And the reason she put in the tennis court was because um, TR tended to get fat. So she made him exercise <laughs> by putting in the tennis court. <laughs> so she was always looking out for him. <laughs> But yeah, she's the first person who brought um, uh, the arts to the White House. She brought in musicians and authors and artists. And she also is the first first lady who organized the China collection and the silverware. Like she archived it. So there's a whole, everybody, when she got to the White House, there was like broken plates, nothing matched. And she made sure that everybody knew exactly where everything was. And also before she got there, people used to steal furniture from the White House. Like if the president liked the chair, he just took it with him when he left. So you weren't allowed to do that after she, everything needed to be cataloged and you had, you had to keep it there. She's so complex. It must be amazing to showcase her as a character. <laughs> and what do you think is important to tell this story about the Roosevelt Roden expedition here in Brazil? Well, it's a story a lot of people don't know. I didn't know it. Um, and I think it's a great story for our time because you you know, right now in the world, we're, we're dealing with the fact that we in North America, you know, we are not the power anymore. We are not the superpower that we used to be. And it's good for us to realize that. And, you know, when TR went to Brazil, he, thought, well, you know, I'm just going to go and have an adventure and have fun. And no, you just don't go into another country 
and tell people what to do and take over. You know, that doesn't happen anymore. And and it was a good match with him and Rondon that they became equals by the end. And you been to Brazil to shoot some of your scenes. Where have you been around here? Um, well, this I shot in São Paulo, but I've been all over Brazil. My first movie I shot in Belém, which I loved. And then I shot another movie in Ouro Preto, which is beautiful. Um, I've been to Bahia, I've been to Salvador. I've been to Rio, obviously. Um, I went to the art colony, um, I can't, Im Imhoshin, I think it's called. It's by um, Belo Horizonte up there, you know. Um, I, I would go anywhere in Brazil. What was your favorite city? Oh, that's tough. Um, I, I love Rio because that's on the water. Um, and I, I love being on the water and I like seeing sugar loaf and all that, you know, all that stuff. Um, I love the music of Bahia. I love the music of Bahia. I love the food. I, I like the heat. I, I love the heat in the Amazon. Oh my God, it's so sexy. It's just the sexiest country in the world. <laughs> and what was your favorite Brazilian food? Caipirinhas. <laughs> ah, I love caipirinhas. Have you tried coxinha de frango? What is it's that? It's like a chicken ball, coxinha de frango. Oh, it's like a chicken ball, it's amazing. I like the powder, how do you say? The cheese rolls, powder cheese. Yeah, pão de queijo. Yes. <laughs> pão de queijo. Yes. And the feijoada. And yes, I love the grains, the farina. Yeah, all that. And and you wanted to come back to Brazil someday? Oh yes, definitely. See, si, yes. <laughs> Then for my last question, I have to do this question because I'm not, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I, for years, I'm dying to see uh, Desperate Housewives revival. Do you think they're somehow possible? And is it true there was a lot of drama going on behind the scenes? I heard there were a lot. There was a lot of drama, but by the time I got there, you know, I came in season four. That had, that was pretty settled at at that point. You know, um, as for a revival. Uh, I would love it. Um, I think that would be up to Mark Cherry. I know that Eva Longoria said that she would do it. Um, she'd be open to it. Um, I think it would be great if it happened, but who knows? I mean, everything else is getting done again, right? Everything. <laughs> the 90s and the 2000s are back. Yeah. Then I thank you very much. Do you want to send a message to Brazilian fans to watch the American guests? Yes. Should I say it right to the camera, do you think? Yeah. Okay. Um, hi. Uh, <laughs> wait, how do you say it? How do you say it? How do you say it in Brazil? How do you say hello? Uh, hola. 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 Oi. Or oi. Hola. Oi. Oh, oi. 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 It's Dana Delaney. And I am starring in The American Guest on HBO Max, September 26th. Please watch. It's great. Um. Not all of us are going to make it out of this jungle alive.